Okay, so today we're talking about brush out, and this is Clay, and say hi, Clay. Turn around, say hi. Say hi. Hey, fuzzy man. Aw, he's <laughs> such a good little boy. You can feel this size. This half of him's all brushed out. He's like a little lamb. He's got curly hair. And so exactly half of him is brushed out. And we're going to work on the other half so I can show you how it's done. The half that's brushed out, you should be able to take a comb and comb all the way to the skin, all the way down. You should be able to comb. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see, little buddy. You should be able to comb his ears. He's got a little bit of static like that. Okay, that's how you check yourself. Okay, so we're going to be working on this side. He's a light-skinned dog, so his skin is probably very... Well, his skin is actually darker, but it's it's a... Because he's a light-colored dog, his skin's going to be more sensitive than, than a dark-coated dog. Um, I'm going to use a, a coated pin-style brush. This one is soft. And you'll see, like, the... Takes kind of the outer part. And you'll notice that I'm brushing against the grain. I've got, I'm holding his leg here um, for one reason, because his little flap is right there. I want to make sure I never catch that. So I hold it in my hand so it's protected. Um, but I'm holding his skin tight so that as I brush, his skin's not yanking back and forth. I'm holding the skin tight, which means all of the momentum is in my brush. If I was brushing like this, I would hold his skin tight and I would brush like this. Okay, but you'll see that this coat, because of the uh, tangles in it, is a little bit hard for this brush to handle. And so I would go to this brush, which again has coated tips, but it's a little bit firmer pins. This is called a soft pin. They're really, really uh, soft. And this is called, this one is a medium pin. And so it will give me a little bit uh, more strength in the teeth of the brush. It's also curved, whereas this one is flat, which gives me a little bit more, if I'm brushing up and out, it like grabs the little hairs and comes out, which is what I'm trying to do. Even whether I go down or whether I go up, I'm trying to get just a little bit of hair and brush out. So I'm pulling the tangles out away from the skin. I'm not scraping against the skin. Okay, so, and it, I would do like just layer by layer, letting just a little bit come out from underneath my thumb. I've got his, I'm holding his whole leg here to help support it. And uh, we just like layer, like layer by layer. And then after I get the tangles out, then I can brush, you know, along his skin like this because I'm not really, you know, digging against his skin. I'm just sliding it across his skin as I go through the coat. But where the, where the tangles are, I'm going to use a, a curved stroke and brush up and out. And with his length here, you can kind of go all different directions. You can go up. You can see as it comes out how fluffy and pretty it is. Now, why, why don't you explain the difference between why you would brush against the grain versus with well, the grain? Well, you're going to go both ways. You're mm -hmm. going to go... If you just brush your dog down... You're just packing whatever tangles and undercoat down tighter to mm -hmm. his skin. Okay. So I want to brush up and out, down and out, all different directions to bring anything that's dead in there, dead hair, to come out. From the other side that I brushed out, this is what was in the brush, which isn't that much. This is that little bit of lamby wool, and it is that. That's what it is. It's like felt <laughs> that's... Um, that was throughout his entire coat on one side that collects in the brush. And uh, the other thing that's really important for home care is that when you bathe your dog at home in the sink, you want to make sure you do this before you bathe them because this little bit of felting in there collects little bits of the soap. And no matter how much you rinse, a little bit of the soap stays in this, uh, this felting undercoat. And, um, and that's what makes them mat up even more. It also makes their, their skin itchy, which makes them bite on themselves even more, which of course makes them mat even more. Okay, so like the little flap here, I was telling you about holding it, and I always do. When I brush on it, I don't wanna you know dig into it. I wanna brush off of the flap against my fingers. It's hard to see, but that way uh, 
I'm not, never gonna catch that soft, loose little flap of skin. And when I brush on the legs, I'll hold his leg. And again, I'm taking like the coat, but I've got his leg itself in my hand. So I'm protecting his leg and the skin, and I'm just brushing the hair. And I can brush it against my, my hand. And as much as possible, you know, particularly on the, the long part of the legs and the ears and the tail, it's really important that you do that. See, it's all like, I've got his foot, I'm brushing the hair. And on his tail, you see the sides brushed. Again, I'll hold his tail. I've got the whole tail in my hand. I'll brush the hair. I'm just gonna brush it against my hand, or against my hand this way. And then after it's brushed out, I can run my brush down it. You know, be really careful. And also, like, he's got, he's got a bend in his tail. So his tail goes straight, and then it bends. Probably because it was caught in something as a, a puppy or, you know, it's, a, it's like getting your finger stuck in the door. It's kind of a common thing. So be real careful. You check the, the tips of your dog's tail. Some of them have like a little corkscrew and that's how they, uh, they were born with a little corkscrew tail. You know, be careful you don't injure that. Okay, let's see your little face and your ears. Um, so with the ears, again, I'm gonna hold his, his ear and I'm brushing the hair on my hand. And as I work around the ear, I'm holding the, right here's where the skin ends. And I hold that edge with my thumb. So I'm never gonna catch the edge of his ear and oops, oops, accidentally uh, tear it. It's all right, Clay, come here. Hey, come over here, Clay. Well, if, if our dog hadn't walked in the door, it would be a little less distracting. <laughs> okay, so um, where he is the thickest is around his neck and that's because his collars are there. So make sure you take your dog's collars or if they wear a harness or a sweater, make sure you take all that off. That's where they're gonna be the most matted from the friction rubbing up against them. Um, come here, sit, 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 sit right here, little man. Sit, come on, Clay, sit, sit. Good boy, good oh, boy, good boy. Good, good boy. boy. <laughs> he is a good <laughs> boy, Mwah. he is a good boy. Mm. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit tighter here. The, the curls and and a little bit more felting. So I just am gonna do it layer by layer. There's a couple of tools that might help you if they have like a particularly thick spot or like on the ears, um, like right here, he's got a little bit of uh, tangling here. I'll hold the edge of his ear to so keep I'll it safe. Explain what those scissors are. This is a thinning shear and it cuts like, this one I think is 15 to 20%. So it would cut like uh, one of every five hairs. And so when the ears are really thick or the coat tends to get um, um, matted up on you, mm -hmm. you can just do a couple of, but be, again, be very careful you don't get their skin and that you're only getting coat. And then when you brush it, will make it a little bit easier because some of those hairs have been trimmed. Good boy, Clay. You're so brave. You're so brave. What a good little man he is. You can see that's made it a lot easier for that to come out. And it's like, it doesn't take a lot out, just a, a little bit. Mm -hmm, but you can see how much yep. more hair comes out. And here I can see where it's, I can feel it, where it's a little thick and curly still. And I would say on 97% of dogs, if they have uh, tangles and mats up in the armpits, I would just shave that because nobody deserves to have their armpits yanked on. And then the last thing is his face. Come here, let's see your little face. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna start up underneath here. And, and again, I can feel the, the thick curliness in it right here. Uh, err on the side of just a few uh, snips with it. Make sure you test it first. Some of some thinning shears are uh, take a lot more than 10 to 15 percent out. You'll see, like as I let the the hairs come out from underneath my fingers, I'm just brushing like just a little layer at a time. Then uh, on his mustache, I'm going to come down here. But again, I've got his lip, the edge of his lip, in my finger. 
Good boy. Good boy, Clay. Oh, get all those little tangles. Watch that little tongue. Got one of those sneaky tongues that comes out there. Huh. Good boy. I'm going to pull his ear back here and brush him really good here in front of his ear. a boy. a boy. What a good little man. He's such a good little man. Yeah, get the last of his little beardy there. Oh, he's so brave. Look at that little face. <laughs> such a good boy. Okay, and again, when you're done, have a comb so you can go back and check yourself and make sure. Oh, oh, oh. A little spot that's missed. A little bit more with the brush. Good boy. Good boy. You can also hear it. I'm not sure if it will show on the, or you can hear it on the video, but hear the scratch. Scratch, and you can feel it in the brush. And then slide. Scr one more scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when it slides like that, you know you're all the way down to the skin. And then when you wash them like that and you rinse them, everything rinses right out. Oh, look at that. Okie doke. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, thank what you. Do you think?